Hey, so I'm working on my grow basin project here, and I uh, actually, for the first time since building it, was able to get it up and running, and it is watertight and working flawless. I'm pretty happy. So I was in the process of transplanting all my red mangroves into it, and it's the first time I've ever uprooted them, and I just found this fascinating, and I wanted to share it. Um, all their little root systems. So these guys are about, if I had to guess, a little, I'd say a month to two months old. Um, they were picked from down in Florida from family members and shipped to me. And sorry, I'm trying to look at the camera while I'm doing this. And as you can see, if I pick one up, um, they've got pretty awesome root systems growing. They kind of grow like a potato. Uh, I had some earlier ones that I'll have to put some links to videos too that they just have little nubs but those little nubs start to grow out like this and I've noticed they tend to grow in a star pattern I'm assuming just to give them you know rigidity or stability in all directions so I'm only halfway through this project obviously they're not going to stay standing like this but I realize that my flood bed because my water level is where those holes are and um, unfortunately as you can see there's I still need probably about another two or three inches worth of gravel and I didn't have enough so, but I remembered that these guys had been growing out in a plastic bin of it so I just went ahead and moved them up for now so I can get access to the extra gravel and then hopefully that'll be enough to top it off but essentially I'm going to try to get them standing up a little bit and then pour that extra gravel in and hopefully that will hold them upright. Um, I'm a little worried because this stuff is buoyant and uh, when I turn the pump back on it likes to go up to those lines so all this is going to float up so they're going to jiggle a bit but I've noticed the root systems are big enough where it holds them true. Um, I've lost track of them but as you can see some of them are getting ready to sprout they're putting off their leaves and stuff so they're definitely growing which is just well the, the roots are obvious or evidence of that too but so essentially what this is is <clears throat> It's a big circulatory system. This tank's going to be what feeds it its nutrient eventually. There'll be a, a Midas cichlid in there, but I haven't done the plumbing or cleaned that up or anything yet. But down here is a sump. It's been drained because I'm getting ready to move some old aquarium water into it so these guys have some nutrient. But what happens is that pump right there, when it runs, it goes up into underneath is a, a manifold, a bunch of different outlets. So one will feed the tank up above, one will be for drain lineage, and then one feeds... Uh, the grow basin and there's a fourth and extra in case I ever need it so the water will come go up through the pump go around and out this line and then it feeds into a spray bar that's actually underneath the gravel level so the roots will be watered but um, the, whole, the goal is is that the actual water level um, stops there but the gravel goes up to the top of that ring so that way um, there'll be a difference. There'll be about an inch and a half, two inches of dry gravel up top, and then everything below it will be, you know, water nutrition for their, their root system. So it'll flow up, it hits those holes, and then it'll drain out the uh, uh, drain line right here, which then takes it down the range, and then out. I need to still secure this pipe right now. This is kind of hanging, but it doesn't matter. It's an inch. It's more than rigid enough. And then pours back into the sump where it gets recycled and goes through the process again. So we'll see how they do in here. I think that they'll do better than just sitting in a plastic bin. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys up to date. But yeah, I just thought I'd share because I don't know. But something about the appearance of those roots are just, that's just a beautiful sight to me. But anyways, thanks for watching.